Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Brandick, and it's Thursday, April the 30th. And it's Deaconess Intern Elizabeth. And uh, we are here a little bit earlier this morning. We have the bright light of the sunshine coming in the east uh, side of the windows here, so we may have some halos going today. <laughs> but we are going to go back to doing our devotion uh, in the morning, which is on page 295 in your hymnal. And so we will begin there. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise. And with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Yes, so we will be singing hymn 707, Oh That the Lord Would Guide My Ways. We're going to do verses 1 and 3. We are continuing to make our way through the Gospel of Luke. We are now in chapter 8, beginning this morning in verse 1. Soon afterward, he went on through the cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him, and also some women, who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's household manager, and Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their means. And when a great crowd was gathering, and people from town to town came to him, he said in a parable, A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell on the path, and was trampled underfoot. And the birds of the air devoured it, and some fell on the rock, and as it grew up, it withered away, because it had no moisture. And some fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up with it and choked it. And some fell into good soil, and grew and yielded a hundredfold. As he said these things, he called out, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. So this is Luke's uh, famous parable of the sower, after we're given some details about who is traveling with Jesus. And so we learn, of course, that it is the twelve disciples, as we would expect, but then also a number of women followers, which was very uncustomary uh, at the time for uh, for women to be following uh, a rabbi around, that, that typically did not occur. So, you know, you, you see Luke here showing that, that Jesus is really appealing to people um, uh, beyond the margins, uh, beyond the normal uh, guidelines of society, if you will. And then Jesus tells the parable of the, good, of the sower. And we learn that, um, that the, the, the seed is like the gospel that is sown among different peoples, and, and the different peoples are, um, you know, they're, they're compared to these different soils and, and, and growing conditions. And, you know, some of you as gardeners know that uh, the growing conditions make a big, or, or have a big effect on whether or not the crop grows, or how it grows, or how long it grows. And Jesus says that the, the heart of man is, is much the same way, uh, and that there are things like uh, the cares of this world that can can choke out the sun or the weeds that can come along and other influences. And so, you know, we are called to be vigilant in this world. We are called to, to sow the seed and, and to scatter the seed uh, everywhere. And we remember that it's God, the power of the Holy Spirit, that gives the growth. And uh, we give God thanks for this. Of course, we know that, that Christ died for our sins and that that message in and of itself has power. And so whenever it is preached, uh, we say that it is uh, efficacious, that it is capable of producing an effect in the heart of the listener and uh, giving birth to faith. 
So we continue now back in your hymnal on page 280, I'm sorry, 295, and we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day, when the work of our calling begins anew, we employ to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. What announcements do you have for us today, Elizabeth? Um, nothing for today. Um, just as usual, if you have any needs or concerns, please reach out to Pastor or I. But we do have this coming Saturday at 10 in the morning. We'll have women's coffee hour um, through Zoom, and that information is in our church e-newsletter, as well as a young adults gathering at 6.30 in the evening on Saturday. And at 9 a.m. this Saturday, we'll be having a virtual men's breakfast, and so you can join us eating your own breakfast or after breakfast, but we will uh, have a meeting in which we go through um, our series on how we got the Bible, and this will probably be uh, the final study that we'll have in this series, and then we'll, we'll start a new one sometime in, in the month of June. Uh, we did send out the email newsletter yesterday that has a lot of information about it. We are restarting services this Sunday. And there's some guidelines in there that we're going to be observing as we restart in order to practice um, uh, good policies for health and for safety uh, to help make sure that uh, as God's people um, that we stay well. So the Lord bless uh, the rest of your day, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again online as well as maybe in person this Sunday. God bless.